Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another incredible edible episode of The Best. It's episode five. Oh, boy, Doogie Hauser, do we have a stream for you this evening. We're going to be debating the ugliest console or handheld. Oh, we've got some returning guests for us. First of all, we've got Kyle Bailey. Are you ready to show some uggo hardware? I definitely am, and I think that I have I have a bit of a unique twist to to oh. some of my some of my hardware. But. That's pretty interesting. Um, yeah. And Will Returner, are you ready for your picks? I uh, I put a lot of time and effort into this, and that mm -hmm. is not a lie. I started this over the weekend. Me too. Isn't that crazy? I started uh, this because... two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> because I refuse to never get scolded, or I don't ever want to get scolded by Ian ever again. That's 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 a fair point. That's a fair thing to go for. Um, and finally, we have returning guest. I believe you were in the last episode where we discussed the hottest Pokemon. Was that? Oh, was that one? the last episode? <laughs> I believe so. I just there because, was one after that. just because I don't think I had to change that your name in the template or OBS at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, how are you feeling about your picks uh, for ugliest console or handheld? Oh, after uh, us talking a little bit about it beforehand, uh, I feel like I went a very different direction that I'm happy about. And and like Will, I started mine over the weekend. I think appropriately, I did a lot of my searching on my smartphone while on the toilet. So I feel like that's a really appropriate, appropriate place to find these consoles. Yeah, one hundred and ten percent. Um, and for me, you know, I I usually put too much effort into these, but honestly, I have so much going on. <laughs> in my in my career <laughs> in my subpixel and in my life in general that i about quarter ass this and i'm ready <laughs> i'm cashing in my quarter ass ticket so um so before the stream started we literally randomized the order of who's going to be presenting first and very first we have david from save data um so how about you go ahead and get your stream set up and um, I'll go over real quick kind of the quote unquote rules in a way, which is basically we said the ugliest console or handheld. Um, I think that's pretty much the only restriction. You know, if, if we have to have some weird rules debates, we'll do it. But I didn't want to limit it to console. I didn't want to limit it to handheld. So as long as it's one of those two and you think it's ugly, you can present it this evening. Um, let me go ahead and uh, get this set up. I see the link now. Let me... Uh, Coming through good. Correct opinions by. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. I just want to say, uh, OBS Ninja is up their their game since the last time we did this. Yeah, they have. Oh, they, have. they really have. Okay, let me pop it over here. And um, whenever you're Keeps ready, David. Is on the side. This is so nice. <clears throat> Take it away. Uh, listen, folks. I'm going to tell you what the ugliest consoles in existence are, and I'm correct. And you know. <laughs> Just as last time, and just as as any time when we talk about an opinion, we need to define, you know, like what is ugly in this case. So we went to Merriam Webster again, and uh, <laughs> shockingly, ugly adjective, uh, save word, whatever that that's normal definition <laughs> of ugly, offensive to the sight or hideous, uh, is Ian Gibson or a blood relative of Ian Gibson. <laughs> Number one definition wow. of absolutely shocking. Wow, and you know, that's weird. That's good photoshopping. I, I I give props on that. That's good. That fits. Oh, that's a, you just inspect the element on a web page and change the text. You could do this with anything. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> uh, also on on the definition of ugly, which you know what, this is probably the one I'm going to actually use more than anything. Morally offensive or objectable, objectionable. Sorry. Uh. Uh, so let, let's move on. And, you know, console designers, when they're making a new console or designing a special edition console, why make a cool console design? Visual, make it visually appealing, bring in a new audience, make more money. Those are really the only three options, right? That, that's all you're trying to do with, with the visuals of a console. Uh, the engineers, they make sure all the cooling and stuff works. Uh, usually, unless you have, like, you know, a PS4 cooling didn't work great on those or 360 those just didn't function so like <laughs> that, that's not in the appearance of the console typically though right so before we got into anything i did want i wanted to have two honorable mentions here that weren't 
in my main list. And these are, you know, normal everyday consoles. We got the Blaupunkt Telejuego, which shockingly <laughs> a, a German console. It's just a VCR. <laughs> Uh, and then we also have the Nintendo GameCube Panasonic Q console. Excuse me. Because Panasonic was like, hey, let's take a GameCube and make it look like a karaoke machine. Excuse me, but Will and I have <laughs> seen one of those in person and held it, and it is incredible. So it I looks am, awesome. How I dare you? literally almost brought it as a prop for this frame. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Looking. Well, I mean, it's like, I'll give it its funny ugly to the point where I like might have one, but that's why it's an honorable mention. It's not in our top three. Our first offender, because each of our offenders are different companies here. The first one, of course, is Sega. Uh, couldn't talk about ugly, ugly consoles without talking about Sega. And the specific console we're talking about is a regional console. It's only released in Brazil of all places. And that's the Sega Master System Girl. No. Oh my god. <laughs> now, console manufacturers, video game developers have been trying to get women to play games for literally my entire lifetime. And the number one way to do that, make your console pink. All right. Absolute first way to do that. Second way, have the buttons in a really weird layout <laughs> at the bottom right that makes it look exactly like those circular birth control pills. <laughs> That's normal and something you want to give women. Oh Coincidence? God. I don't think so. Uh, what's cool is this is a portable master system. However, it requires a TV and it has an antenna. So is it really portable? No, no, it is not. Why did they bother doing oh this? God. Why does it look like a portable radio? Uh, I mean, gendered products, always weird, always ugly. Uh, and another thing I'd like to point out is how do you hold this? Where does your hand go for the bottom three buttons? Does that think... look comfortable to any of you? It's like rounded off, right? So like your thumb just sort of rests. Yeah, it's it's rounded it. off so it can like, you know, poke directly in that spot right underneath where your thumb connects to your hands and like make your hand hurt after a little is while. It, is it is it based on like like smaller hands? Like do girl like I'm guessing they're they're guessing gamer girls have smaller I, hands than guys. I will say one thing. <laughs> I will say one thing. I, I kind of see the logic here. It's flawed logic, but when you have your thumb like this and you, you rotate your thumb so the buttons are always at the correct angle for your thumb yeah. rotation, which is a cool idea. You're right about it. Terrible You're right about practice. Being flawed logic. Yeah. You're right Terrible about practice. That. And listen, the Game Gear is an ugly piece of shit. This is just takes that to a whole new whole new whole new How level. So uh it's ugly. I'm sorry, Ian. It's like the Game Gear is so cool, well, though. It's like a little uh, mini TV. Uh, it is very okay. ugly. And you could watch TV. Right? When you first showed this, I thought there were actual birth control pills inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I need some clarification here. So it, it is portable, yeah. but it has no screen. So you just plug it into a TV. Correct. Wait, but what's uh, the antenna You might for? not even plug it in. It might be the antenna to the TV, which honestly... If that is the case, that's, that's kind of cool. That's amazing if or that's it what it's be, for. It that's could be cool. If it's, if it's based off the Game Gear, the Game Gear could, with a, no, it's an based off adapter, the Master TV. System. It's based off the Sega Master System. Well, I just this mean, is a portable Master System. Yeah, but based on the tech they did with the Game Gear, that antenna could actually be for TV signals. It's possible. Yeah, that's Probably true. not. I'm not going to give them credit. Look at this abomination they created. Oh my god. I'm not going to give him credit on that connectivity, all right? Oh my god. Uh, moving along to our second offender, technically second and third, it's PlayStation. Oh now, boy. PlayStation is pretty cool with marketing consoles that look pretty bad. Uh, I mean, we got the Grand Slam Tennis 2 one. <laughs> that looks cool. The middle one there, that's a Nickelodeon PS2. That's an official Nickelodeon giveaway console where they just slapped a sticker on it. Uh, we got like an F1 place on the right that actually looks kind of cool. We got JoJo. We got 007 Quantum of Solace, but in German. Uh, however, there have been some really bad marketing consoles. Uh, and I would like to bring up a very, very recent example. That is the Domino's PlayStation 5. Oh, gosh. Now, PlayStation 5, arguably, I think it looks pretty all right, the base model, but a lot of people don't like how it looks. They're already like, that console's kind of ugly. It's a little garish. Um, 
that console has depth. That's like the the version that has a DVD drive, and you can't even see it. There's too much pepperoni and cheese. Everything's pizza. <laughs> it's all pizza. Like, imagine how greasy your controller is already with your greasy gamer hands. Like, now it's pizza <laughs> on the controller. It's too greasy. Are you lactose intolerant? Don't buy this. And lastly, why? Why would you want a console to look like pizza? And not even good pizza. It's Domino's. Hey. I, Domino's I also is... like that the the box isn't branded, so you can just open it up and have a Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> now there aren't a lot of these this is like a limited edition thing but uh this is an officially licensed playstation 5 sony was cool with this they gave this the okay to like hey make our console look like shit uh <laughs> if you want to just go ahead and do that dominoes and give it away that's cool Wait, wasn't there wasn't there another brand that was doing one of these and sony came in and said we actually don't approve of this. We hate the design, and they canceled it. Do you guys remember that? I think uh, it was there was a company that was it McDonald's. Did, did you, I think so. I think it might have been McDonald's oh, I can't or they KFC this, or something. KFC it, it, had their own console, right? Didn't they have? They like, do. Like they oh, yeah. have their own console that I don't think ever came out. <laughs> I wanted to buy one. And, and I know Chicken Tendi, uh, D brand, D brand had the whole thing with the the side panels that they were trying to make yep. different color side panels, and then they got yeah. a cease and desist. So then they redesigned them, and then the ins. I'm sorry, this it, 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 keep going. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine. My point was that like PlayStation explicitly took down other people's plates that look yep. better than this, and was like, you know what, Domino's, you do you, and not just the plate, the controller thing too. That's not a skin. That's like that's, the plastic. That's pepperoni. It's, it's like <laughs> I don't I don't Rest in hate pepperoni. it though. What? You, you know because, Sony was like, nah, nah, and then they just opened like cheesy breadsticks and lava cakes, and the guy was like, okay, and just started eating. Domino's literally just sent like a few pizzas to like a program <laughs> manager and they're like, all right. <laughs> Stamp it. Hey, we'll feed your QA team for a year. Also, I'm pretty sure this pizza doesn't even look like Domino's pizza. Like Domino's pizza no. doesn't look it looks better than yeah, Domino's. It's, it's yeah. Domino's, <laughs> Domino's has, uh, yeah, it's, they're circles, not rectangles, obviously. So I just meant like the cheese I, I know, pepperoni yes. look decent, which oh, is not boy. Domino's. Listen, so I'm okay. not knocking Domino's. It is the king of the five slash six dollar medium pizza. Like Domino's is great, just not for good pizza. I mean, I I appreciate Domino. This is coming from someone who grew up surrounded by like homemade pizza rias and Italian pizzerias, authentic pizza. Domino's is fine for what it is, but it is miles better than like Papa John's. Like I hate Papa John's. Oh, Papa, so. John, Papa John's is just cardboard with cheese. That's it, all Papa yeah, John's. and like like I I don't know. I, I Domino's is all right in my book. It's not actual yeah. pizza, but for, if you want something <laughs> quick, yes, it's it's fun. <laughs> Well, their pizza might be all right in our books. The, this console is not. This is fucking disgusting. Uh, I want to get on to our worst offender. And I said that this one was second, third, because Domino's definitely counts here. So our worst offender is Xbox. Oh, no. Who, you know, I just showed you that PlayStation clearly doesn't really care too much when it comes to, like, marketing <laughs> special edition consoles. Uh, Xbox basically has... <laughs> an even stronger opinion of they don't give a shit. Jimothy Xbox is like, whatever, you can make our things look like whatever you want. So I'm going to have a few examples before I get to my actual ugliest one of the bunch. So enjoy. We got Xbox X Atari, where they, for some reason, let Atari <laughs> just rebrand their whole console. Uh, it, it came with like the sweatbands. It did. Yeah, it did that's kind of awesome. What's like the that. tiny sweatband for? A you finger is for <laughs> yeah. it probably oh. is the thumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <Someone> Dad. <laughs> we got the Hulk and Pepsi. Xbox. Like, I just I don't know say, why it's both. As somebody who dabbles in model making, the most offensive part of this is there is no like two or three tone shading. There's no underlining or panel lining on any of this. It's just they just painted it one single color. That's oh, the most did. offensive part. And you part. know what? They did it twice because there's also the Mountain Dew Xbox, <laughs> uh, which is the and they're running a racket. 
Oh my god. <laughs> we got hey, the Sprite, Watchmen. You want an Xbox? We got okay, the Watchmen Xbox cool. 360. We got the Watson and Holmes Xbox, Xbox 360. Cool. We got the Netflix Xbox 360. <laughs> we got That's the Swarovski, Swarovski Crystal Xbox 360. Oh my god. And now, see, this one, this Xbox 360 was given away as part of, well, not given away, auctioned off as part of a charity by Xbox Australia, along with a number of other consoles, including our ugliest console ever made, the Kim Kardashian <laughs> Xbox 360. This is an official Australia Xbox run charity console. Oh my, oh there is only God. one in existence. Thank God. I uh, And also, I'd like to point out that's supposed to be Kim Kardashian on the, the you know, the plates. It, okay, I mean, look, it's, it's very so weird. Cool. It's very weird because because the Kim on that console kind of looks like Caitlyn Jenner, which is she's not related by blood to Caitlyn Jenner. But for some reason, it does look like like her non biological stepmother, which is very weird. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> and I'd like to. They got this signed by Kim Kardashian. Like, that's her actual signature. Oh, um, God. That's not Why? a signature. That's her writing her name in cursive. What do you think Whatever. a signature is? <laughs> no, I know what most signatures are like, <laughs> like. Are like fancy signatures. Like, she just legibly wrote her name out. But she's got hearts for the eyes. Oh, it's so it's, stupid. It's very, like, Disney Channel <laughs> font. Maybe she wrote it like yeah, it is. Well, it's it's Disney Disney Channel. Channel font. It's like, man, they someone paid for this. I will, will remind you. Like, yeah, I wish my signature probably was probably a large Sans. sum of money. Uh, was it Kim like, Kardashian? Did she buy her own? <laughs> she bought it. <laughs> That'd be funny. I don't know. Wow. Uh, no, but like, really, they like airbrush their airbrush on her face. Like, I don't know how the fuck they did that. It looks like they took a picture of her Barbie doll. Like it doesn't look real. <laughs> is she really is she that popular in Australia? Eh, I, I don't know. It was two thousand ten. She was pretty big back then. But yeah. yeah, no this this is real. Uh, and who is that on the box? Because it ain't Kim. And also, who the fuck bought this? I need to know. <laughs> I need to know who bought. Oh this my god! Abomination of a console. Oh my Jeez. god. Uh, Thank you for coming to my TED talk. That's as good as I, I want that one. Succeed. That one looks amazing. Cool. It looks so good. Oh, <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, David. Uh, you are welcome. Absolutely disgusting on all counts. Um, <laughs> next up, if somebody could check the order while I'm doing some stuff, I believe it's me. Is that correct? I think it is you. Yeah. Yeah. It okay. is you. Yes. So um, I'm just going to. Oh. I'm going to uh get, sorry, I'm juggling a whole bunch of windows around here. Let's um let's kick it over to mine again. Just to preface, minimal effort on my side because I earned it. Um, you did, Ian. You did. PowerPoint. I don't know where this is gonna go. It's gonna go there. So let's share that screen. So <laughs> I thought you, meant you didn't know where the PowerPoint was gonna go, and I was like, didn't you make it? <laughs> oh no! Don't, don't you know what? Console? I have no idea what's in this thing. <laughs> um, okay, so let's do this. Let's show y'all on the stream what I'm looking at. So you got to go to Discord and then you got to like click on my thing to be like watch stream. It's very weird. already got there. It. Already there. Okay, and then now I'm going to go to the stream. Ah, cute little monster template. Nice yeah. job. I stream, and I'm going to show them. I not that one. Uh, apologies. Okay, and I believe that is good to go, gentlemen. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Okay, do it, girl. Um, the ugliest console. Look, I I want to talk about my methodology for a little bit. Normally, I kind of honestly make the mistake of like googling what is the ugliest console and you kind of find the usual stuff but instead what i did was i found a couple of articles that was literally just like the visual history of consoles and it just had like we talked about this before the stream there's so many consoles during that video game boom of like the late 70s early 80s 
and so many things that came out that just hit the mark that were dead before they even hit the market basically and you never even knew existed within our own lifetimes um and, and my first nominee is one of those it is the unknown it is something mm. that came out when all of us were alive and happily playing games and i didn't know about it and i'm not sure that any of you know about it i'm talking about the mattel hyperscan which came out in 2007 as a home video game console um this thing is so it's it's just so god awful ugly and baffling to look at yes that is a hinge in the middle i'll be talking about it in a little bit but this console transforms it comes with its own god awful <laughs> controller and uh that on the right hand side is an RFID scanner because basically what you would do is you would buy a game and it came with cards and you would scan the cards oh. while you were playing the games to give you items and you could buy the cards separately. Oh. Yes, that's right. This is one of the early precursors of microtransactions. An entire this console Skylanders. built around like microtransactions. Yeah. <laughs> um, just, just remember, this is during the era of like early to mid 2000s, just god awful tech, like just a lot of nasty god awful tech. Some of it cool, clear, transparent, etc. Some of it not. Like, look at that slime calculator in the top left. That is god. Oh, you shut up. It's that's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, and we end up Sonic with this, which <laughs> which is composite, and it just folds in half to be somewhat portable, I guess. And then look at this god awful controller, which I just I don't. It's it looks like a child's toy. I mean, it is from a toy company, but this is them trying to break into the console space. Do the do the shoulder buttons light up? I don't know. They better. Oh, they better. I want I, them to. I think they may be clear just because that's cool at the time. <sighs> that would be my hypothesis. Because the triggers missed opportunity. The triggers are clear as well. No. Um, I'm sorry, is that a G instead of an A? <laughs> it's G it for is. green, Will. For game. It is. G for green. It's, no, it's yeah, it's green, blue, yellow, and red. Oh my that's god. So good. That's so stupid. This console. It's RGBY. Nah, I'm here for that. That was a good move. This is like, oh my goodness. And then it, uh it basically played some games off CD and had an RFID. Like I look at this thing and it's just it's just so baffling in so many ways. Like they were trying so hard to be cool and do like a Batman aesthetic. Like we're gonna do red and black. It's gonna fold. I was it's gonna, gonna say, transform. It looks like a Batman Beyond gadget. Yeah. Yeah. And it's oh, just. Yeah. It's not there. It's it's ugly. I was really hoping that was a hot plate and it was a console for Batman. <laughs> that would be amazing. I just want to reiterate: 2007 is when this guy when this came out. Do you guys yeah, remember this wild. at all? I I've never heard. I have no. never ever seen this. Who no, makes never. it? What, who no, makes Mattel. It? Mattel, the toy Mattel. company. But it's. it's I mean. Not, the, it's not like the time of 2011 or 2007, like PS2, yeah. like I think the PS3 is coming out that year yeah. or soon after it. Like, we don't care about this. This is for little kids who don't get those. But like, that's, that's the crazy is thing for. is that this was $70. They were trying to target the actual console market. Like there was a there was a licensed Spider-Man game for this that you could buy and play. On. That doesn't mean it's crazy. The console market. My They're first targeting console children was Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I, it's weird. It feels like they tried to graduate from, I know they're, I don't think they make the leapfrog, but it's like they're trying to graduate out of the leapfrog audience. They're trying to, they're trying to leave the toy, the toy aisle and go to the electronic section and just baffling. Just, well, it's like, like they were like, what if we didn't make those shitty controller consoles that you just plug into the TV and try yes. uh, actually tried? <laughs> but yeah. it turns out those are actually better than what they came up with. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do like Will's idea of the the hot plate kind of thing because it looks like a burner yeah. on a stove. It does. If it, it does. came with its own beans on, came with its own little like bowl or plate for like <laughs> pizza bake pizza bagels or something. It was like like, that. like, that like a big oh, kitchen no. slash home console. What if? What if they used the RFID thing to make like a Cooking Mama game for kids? That'd be so fucking good. That'd be awesome. That It'd would be so cool. good. But they didn't do that. They made an ugly no, console instead. <laughs> uh, which brings me to my second choice: the baffling. I uh, look. I'm gonna be honest with you. This one, it is ugly, but it's one of those things where the more you look at it, the uglier and more confusing it gets. It's it's a confusion based ugly. I'm talking about the. 1999-2000 release of the Bandai Wonderswan. <laughs> I forgot why does this it have two, why does it, Exactly! Why does it have two D-pads on the left-hand side? Are you it's, supposed to hold it, like, vertically? and like? No! You're supposed to just hold it normally, and then there's just a Sometimes single A-B on the bottom right. 
it's i'm relatively sure they had some like top down shmups for this that they you may did have flip it the other way yeah. around but there but i also saw a lot of games that was just normal and it's it's yeah <laughs> it's a it's a it's a weird confusing console um i also want to show you this those bumps on the back of the console are up, are at the bottom i don't know i don't know what that means in japanese i don't know if that's saying triggers or kickstands or supports i don't know what those are are they supposed to be huh. grips they're weird they're at the bottom left and bottom right of the back of the console and then it has that ugly like battery bulge in the back um I don't know if I had a picture in this of the cartridges, but the cartridges were actually pretty sizable. They were the size of like a deck of Hold cards. Can you can you go can you go back to that? I'm gonna try and Google Translate live live translate. Oh, I'm on the, it. I'm on it. Oh, and okay. apparently the Wonders one held as much as eight percent of the Japanese handheld market before the Game Boy Advance ate its dinner. Yeah, wow. like like this one is it's not the type of ugly that just strikes you, makes you want to puke. But so, literally, the more I look at it, the more confused I get. The one the one on the side, um, all the way to the left, says strap mounting. So I'm guessing you could like have a strap or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah, oh that's, yeah, that's so. Um, what is the, this the, one? That one over there is battery box. And then the one the one on top says peak. I think it's supposed to be speaker peripheral device outlet. This so one. you could plug. Yeah. So, oh, so maybe this is where you put the double A's or something. That's what this yeah, yeah, is on the yeah, bottom yeah. picture. Yeah. OK, that's weird. Oh, Anyways, that's very okay. strange, very strange console. Um, they, they tried a couple different colors and things. I like this picture because it shows you the buttons are called X1, X2, X3, X4, Y1, Y2, Y4, oh, no. Y4, oh, no. AB, wow. sound start power. That's right. This ugly console gets literally. You know what, Kyle? I'm glad you pointed out. Look at this like enormous expansion accessory port that is just open to the I front think it's, all the time. I think it's here. for it's for a speaker. Like a bigger speaker. It's That's so what it weird. says. Dude, it's, I'm fucking here for this console. This thing is weird. hilarious. Take it to like pre-calc for your Y1, Y2, <laughs> yeah. all that stuff out. Dude, this those graphics is, look pretty good. I don't I, I don't know if that's real or not. I don't think that's oh, real. Oh, is that like, okay. This yeah. is a composite image. But uh, I wanted to show that it, like. It might this, be 1998 to 2003. No, I just oh, mean the, really the, cool. the quantity, the, the quality of this picture. Oh, makes me yeah, there are somebody. a lot of pixels. And there, it does seem like there's a lot more pixels than there um, should be. I, I just like this picture because I wanted to point out, like, even going translucent, which is a cool trend at the time, makes it even more confusing. Like, there is something here. I think that's maybe the CMOS battery or something, and they're just showcasing it with the clear. <laughs> it's like, hey, look at this battery. It's, this is, this I is think a that's where the sound concept. comes out. So that's probably like a sound chamber. Oh, that yeah, that could be. Yeah, it's just, it's such a weird console. It came Dude, in a I bunch like of different thing. colors. <laughs> I so actually pathway. like this console. I it would just... buy this if there were good games for it. This is cool. I think it's I think it's a similar problem to your game girl where I'm trying to figure out how how do I hold it? Because your left thumb yeah, is gonna have to do so, yeah. so much. 100%. Is it like so you're hold, you're holding it with both your thumbs at the bottom, but if your left hand thumb gets a little tired, you can shift shift <laughs> positions up to a different yeah. or what did true, you do in this? But if that's true. <laughs> Then you're just a normal Game Boy with only one D-pad and, and an A-B button. It's, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't I mean, it make really sense. Doesn't. It's just so baffling. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, I had to stop and study it. Um, which brings me to our my final nominee. It's the unexpected. But it's something we have to talk about. It, it I honestly, like I'm going to hate this. It honestly personally pains me, but it is something I look at every goddamn day the xbox series x is an ugly console no. guys it's i don't agree it is it is and here's why look i i did not think so at first that's what it looks like that is under my entertainment system every day and i have to look at it and it's just a stupid giant black plastic square that thing is like 14 inches by six inches just this <laughs> giant formless black plastic square sitting under my tv and it looks so goddamn stupid there's a reason why people said it looks like a fridge because it does look like a fridge it's just completely formless and empty like like the ugliness in unlike here, my fridge <laughs> the ugliness here <laughs> is that they they didn't even try they thought they were gonna be so cool they're, they were gonna do the whole like steve job next thing and be like we're gonna make it a perfect cube do you know how hard that is we're gonna make it so minimalist it becomes awesome it's not working this is a console from 2019 
you gotta 20. you gotta try harder than this like it's the only <laughs> the only only barely redeeming aspect of it is the fan vent at the top that's it yeah every everything else is just solid black like i i was like that could be interesting when it first came out but literally this is not a joke every time i have to look at that thing i go why is it so stupid it looks awful in my entertainment center because it's just a giant black square it's god awful stupid <laughs> ladies and gentlemen that's my nominee the xbox series x for the ugliest console thank you so much for your time and just remember the hyperscan is god awful ugly the wonder swan is ugly confusing and the xbox series x is just a complete lack of effort ugly it's it's disgusting the more i look at it thank you very much boo good 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 job good job being um i believe next up we have kyle all right hold on i'm going to um, saving the best for last eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my insides <laughs> uh okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, video games on consoles and handle all right, give me a second to like uh, a populate Great. this. Why is know. it so wet, Kyle? Because uh, that's what you're all going to be at the end of this presentation. Oh, my God. Oh, OK. <laughs> Damn. Set you up for that. Well, <laughs> clearly, these aren't the ugliest consoles, then, you know. <laughs> no, we all know like Ian gets peeing, off on Ugo. Peeing yourself. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just... How dare you say that about Maggie? <laughs> I was just about to say that, too. <laughs> She's an exception. Oh God. <laughs> oh, man. See, that's expl like Maggie's explicitly why I put Ian and blood relatives of Ian online because <laughs> yeah. I wanted to exclude You're his so wife. Kind. I'm really happy. I really hope this is not one of those streams that my dad pops into <laughs> 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 or my nephews. Um, They'll okay. understand. They're related to you. I yeah. <laughs> I believe we're ready. <laughs> that's true. They would understand, Kyle. <laughs> whenever you're ready. Okay, uh, I hope these like transitions work because I kind of forgot to do them until literally two minutes before we started. So some of them may not work correctly, but I poured my heart and soul you. into this like using the last two and a half hours. Um, <laughs> okay, so hello. Uh, welcome to the presentation on the ugliest video game consoles and handhelds. My name is Kyle Bailey and I'll be hosting this exciting and quite honestly groundbreaking PowerPoint presentation. So without any further ado, let's begin. Yes. <gasps> wow. That's right. Yeah. All right. So first off, why should you trust my opinion on ugliness? Well, here's a few things. I am a proud official member of the World Association of Ugly People, otherwise known as Club de Brutti, which is headquartered in <laughs> Piobico, Italy. It is an organ. This is a real thing. It is an organization dedicated to fighting for the recognition of ugly people in a society that places a high value on physical beauty. After all, a person is what they are and not what they look like, which I think is something video game console makers should seriously consider adopting as their rule when creating new consoles. Uh, the Ugly Club's official motto is ugliness is a virtue, beauty is slavery, which is just, you know, it's like a fundamental truth. I mean, you can't, you can't like argue that. with that. Um, in my research, I, I found there's an Italian philosopher called Umberto Eco, uh, who had this to say on ugliness, beauty is finite, ugliness is infinite, like God, which again are words to live by and words to make video game consoles by. Uh, also, I'm not Brad Pitt, so therefore I automatically understand ugliness inherently. References can be provided upon request. Now, um, Kyle, did you yes. join the Ugly Cub within the past 24 hours? No, I did not. Oh no, have they okay. been me too'd? <laughs> no 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 i was just no. asking if this was like a long time love of his or if that was also part of the two oh. and a half hours of preparation no 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 um <laughs> back in i think it was back in 2017 there's a um there's a podcast called criminal and the host of the podcast her name is phoebe judge and she made another podcast called this is love and it's about different types of love that are found in in the world and one of the early episodes that they did was on the ugly club and the love of ugliness and and what that means so they actually made this pin which i have i don't have it with me it's at my parents house um but it, it's a it's an ugly club pin that i i got so i'm that's why i say official member because i just have the pin but in my heart i'm there yeah you could never join because okay. you're too beautiful exactly um <laughs> so the nominations 
Number one, the Bandai Supervision Eight Thousand. Good name. That's a good name. Oof. Um, released by Bandai in 1979 and belonging to the uh, long fabled second generation era of which is I shouldn't have put era because it's just second generation of video game consoles. The Bandai Supervision 8000 is what happens when you swing for the fences inside of a fence store and still miss. Somehow taking styling advice from both the 1950s and the 1990s, the 8000 was actually an impressive console for its time. It was driven by an 8-bit NEC D780C processor capable of a max of 3.58 megahertz speed. And the 8000 can be connected directly to a TV, so it has that going for it. And it has a list of seven playable games, including Missile Vader, Space Fire, Othello, Gun Professional, Pack Pack nice. Bird, Submarine, and my favorite, Beam Galaxian. Oh, look at that honeycomb. Um, hopefully this plays. I don't know if it will. It's supposed to be like a little video. Um, it used ROM cartridges and was discontinued in 1982, probably so that it could be turned into a multi-user landline telephone so that like you and your siblings could, I don't know, make prank calls to your grandma or something at the same time. Uh, actually, it was discontinued so that Bandai could become a distributor for Mattel's Intellivision, which conveniently uses almost the exact same design for its controllers, that little handheld thing with the the I was just wheel gonna the ask it looked a lot like the Intellivision with its yeah, calculator it's, controller. It's a it's a precursor to that, but I'm pretty sure they just looked at the design and they were like, that works. Let me see if I can get this to play. This is this is it in action. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. I mean it's pretty sick. And then you just set it back down in case you get a, a phone call. That's while you're awesome. <laughs> um wait okay. uh, excuse me wait 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 a sec. Okay. Is that like an NES style top loading cartridge on the top? I believe so. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. You just shove it in there. That's cool. Um, <laughs> but, Grandma, I'm uh, going to have to call you back. I'm getting a high score. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, and NES I think. Style. That's what I, say. I think NES. I think um, you know you could grab you, you could grab the one uh, handheld telephone controller and you know sort of do that and then grab the other one and just play while you're taking calls or prank calling someone. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I've lost the joke a little bit. Did it actually have telephone capabilities? Or no, it just looks it just looks like a weird <laughs> telephone. I, I wish it did. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it even <laughs> uglier. Okay, the nominations number two. Uh, the Daewoo CPG120, or otherwise known as the Zemex Turbo. <clears throat> what? <laughs> what? <is> Whoa. <laughs> so... The Daewoo CPG-120, otherwise known as the Zemex Turbo, it was released Dang. in 1991, Ooh. specifically in South Korea. It is an MSX2 compatible gaming console and features a, this is from the, the manual apparently, featuring a space fiction layout and design. <laughs> I this guess. remarkably they nailed ugly. that they nailed that <laughs> it definitely is <laughs> this remarkably ugly console was an offshoot of trashed star trek ship designs um that the ceo of daewoo stole from matt jeffrey's dumpster um that's a star trek deep cut for all you fans out there uh M matt jeffrey's design like the enterprise and stuff um this machine it looks like an upside down enterprise <laughs> in my opinion uh this machine uh only has one cartridge slot and it's possible to add a keyboard and the addition of a disk drive can also be made but will use the unique cartridge slot still for those reasons, the MSX2 logo appears on the machine, but what's uh, not the case of the Zemex, Zemex MSX1 consoles. Uh, it comes with its own external power supply, thank God, uh, which is also styled to look like the console itself. So, you know, at least they were like, hey, let's get all these designs together and, and make sure everything works and flows together. It looks like NES Rob. <laughs> it kind I of can is. see it. There we go. Yeah, so that's... So that's cool. <laughs> I mean, it looks like like from that that picture on the right, it looks like something you'd see in a cockpit that you could like ramp the throttle forward or something. Yeah, like a but, Doctor Who yeah. enemy. Yeah, yeah, like the top of a <laughs> I don't know some sort of robot. Oh man, it's pretty gnarly though. All right, nomination number three. Oh wait, hold on, I did have one. Uh, these Zemex in Korean means it's fun, which 
<laughs> maybe it was back then um and you like i said you can also play with a keyboard which is one thing that it has in common with modern consoles i think that's legally binding because if it's not then that's false advertising <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah if it's not fun then you get a refund from uh, what's the 19... statute of limitations on that <laughs> <laughs> it's 91 right so uh okay nominations number three this is the one uh yes that i found on uh, on yes. ign after i'd already yep. found it but it's the um coleco telstar arcade this is the big one i actually found it while searching on the video game console library which is a super great resource for this entire presentation um uh, upon me first seeing it i knew it had to be included in my list featuring a triangular design that follows through with the cartridge itself the telstar arcade is i'm sorry cool. wait the it is what you see. Are triangles? The yeah, that's them on the bottom right. Triangles. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, so good. Um, it's all it's wrong. Really gun. It's, it's, it's the worst. I, thing there's the story they had possible. they had a de line, design design philosophy console. and they stuck it. I mean, they stuck the landing on that. It is just it's it's <laughs> gloriously horrible. Um, featuring all the best shades of brown from the late 1970s, it'll fit right next to your CRT TV, which is gathering dust in your dad's basement corner. Um, it had four separate cartridges that you could play on it, featuring such games as, I'm going to read off all the games, but some of them are pretty funny. Road Race, Tennis, Quick Draw Hockey, Tennis, Handball. <laughs> There's two tennises, but it says one is just a Pong replica. <laughs> one end um, and then two ends. <laughs> hand, handball. Targer, bonus pinball, shooting gallery, shoot the bear, deluxe pinball, naval battle, blast away, and speedball. Um, this is this is a I don't know if the if the sound is actually gonna come through, but this is an advertisement for the uh oh hell for yeah. the Telstar. Oh, that's so good. Sound oh. is not coming through, but boy, this looks like garbage. <laughs> How dare you? So no, listen, I mean, this is garbage I would want on my, like, mantle. <laughs> it's I, just, oh, the, the, color, Look, the color I, brown is just... I'm sorry, I don't mean to interject. Oh, lazy brown. Susan. Brown's gray? But I'm literally <laughs> looking at these on eBay right now and trying to decide <laughs> if I want one or not. Yo, Ian, how much are they? <laughs> There's one, it's going for 75 but it's got five days left. It looks like the buy it now price is around 150 to 200 So, when he when he shoots the uh, the little guy, she says, Got him! <laughs> and then and then it immediately cuts and look at his face he's you know, so smug to be that couple that got... <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, it's hitch, your, hitch TV, your tv to a telstar and it was made in the usa yeah! so Kalika, where's child world this is awesome yeah. i love this console <laughs> no i'm sorry it. i'm sorry i really Kyle. want one that's not ugly that's incredible i love i think that. it's i think i here's here's the sort of impetus of my entire presentation something can be ugly but still be desired right that's you nailed that is why the, the, the ugly Kyle. club <laughs> the ugly club exists i think that that console is objectively ugly but i want it and i don't think that takes away anything from it being ugly why is it so. a well, we'll get into the debate later. <laughs> um, I didn't mean to kick it off early. Let's, uh, Will, if you want to share your screen. Though? Why is it a pyramid? Because it's cool. <laughs> it's wood grain pyramid. Listen, I love it. It's just like, why? <laughs> Man, 70s. Hell of a time. Oops. Wait. Uh, so final up, Sorry. we have Will, uh, who is going to be All presenting right. the final three nominees. I'm going to run through real quick while he's taking a sweet ass time over there. So far, we've had from David, the Sega Master System Girl, the Domino's PS5, and the Kim Kardashian Xbox 360. From Ian, we've had the Mattel Hyperscan, the Bandai Wonder Swan, and the Xbox Series X. Uh, from Kyle, we've had the Supervision 8000, the Zemix Turbo, and the Coleco Telstar Arcade. Uh, let's get uh, Will's up and... Sorry, I'm getting... I'm just, like, looking all over the place here. Uh, almost there, folks. I'm very excited. Will, do you have any words in prep before you start your converse your uh, presentation uh lord forgive me for i have sinned <laughs> uh no not really i just like i i did i, I don't know i i was <laughs> we're up now so just kick it just let's do it. <laughs> bad um anyways uh folks the ugliest consoles by <laughs> will crosby consulting Gary <laughs> <sighs> He won't answer my text anymore. Wow. Folks, you gotta you gotta donate to his Do oh you like God. consumerism? Yes. yes. No. D 
Do you know what this is? That's a server room. Yeah, server room. Data center. Dictionary.com <laughs> defines <laughs> ugly as very unattractive or unpleasant to look at, offensive to the sense of beauty and displeasing in appearance. Oddly enough, mine didn't have the Ian Gibson line. Uh, I got mine um, from Merriam Webster. Yeah, not dictionary. No, gotcha. Not that makes a, way more sense. Very cute. Um, also, I will say morally revolting is another one to keep in mind. Uh, <laughs> That's just true. as we go through this. We use that a little bit um, with the Kim Kardashian one. Yeah, so, <laughs> so just uh, be aware. Remember, folks, things can appear beautiful when in reality they are ugly. Like Kim Kardashian. Said by Obama. <laughs> I don't know what his last name is. Didn't we look it up? It's Barack Hussein Obama the second. Oh, right. Yeah, That's we looked it up on there one last time. So the second is... Folks, number one... What? <laughs> the no. Wii uh, Mini. <laughs> Wait, this exists? Yeah. The Wii Mini. It's hideous, but it's also morally questionable. It was only $99, which you're like, oh, for a Wii, not so bad. It lacks GameCube support. That kind of sucks. Oh, well, we can play, we can play other games. There's no Wi-Fi or internet connectivity. So I can't play online with anyone. Why would I want to? Oh, there's no 480 support? Oh, that's weird. This thing looks like garbage. It came out after the Wii U? That just seems stupid, Nintendo. Wait, Will, so if there... And is it, it wasn't discontinued. No, wait, yeah, are you saying it it's, was, it's I think it was higher? 480i. It was, oh. uh, it was oh, composite okay. only. Okay. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, it was what? discontinued in 2017. Going in 2017, what the fuck? We sold sold like crazy, man. I I've literally it's so never gross. seen or heard of this. <laughs> it was originally only released in Canada, then it was released oh, in that makes sense Europe, and then written? it was released in United States in 2013. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I thought this look. I thought this was more of like a second or third world. Like, let's budget down the Wii and try and sell it to those. <laughs> countries i didn't realize it was canada u.s no they were like let's yes. budget down the wii as a just dance machine yeah we also gotta... they made it red because they were only going to release it in canada originally <laughs> we need more grandmas <laughs> which is wild but that was like i was like when i first read about it i was like oh okay like you're making it cheap whatever for people and like lacks all of these things and at the time, I was reading a, a review of it at the time, you could buy used Wii's for Truly. under $99. Yeah. Oh my well, God. yeah, they're not going to... I mean, Nintendo doesn't get money from those, so <sighs> they don't care. I mean, no. I don't hate the design, though. I don't yeah. think it's like... I, uh, again, I, that was more morally upsetting. It's okay. just like, you know, none of those features are good. I don't, and I don't it doesn't disagree. look that great. I don't disagree, but I feel like that was literally just released for the people that buy Just Dance every year and yeah. have Mario Kart, and that's all but that they own. <laughs> you couldn't update it or anything if there was an update. You don't need to. You they you think the what people if I want are new only buying? My you think the people only buying Just Dance have internet connected to their Wii? I don't. Yeah, I don't that's, think true. So. that's true. That's <laughs> Number two, I forget what it is. Oh, right. Does anyone know Oof. what this is? Yeah, it's like a. a um, I, yeah, I forget what it's called. Spirograph? No. Viewmaster. Spirograph. Cool, Viewmaster. though. Good shout. Good shout. Um, the Viewmaster, uh, obviously invented in 1939. Uh, this isn't number two. Okay. Uh, 25 <laughs> models of it. Oh, I know where you're 1. going. 1.5 billion <laughs> reels. I don't think this counts as a console. It's not number two. Doesn't count. <laughs> this is the pre. I'm leading up to number two. I know, but I know this doesn't, there's it's no in the national. Here. It's a national toy hall of fame. <laughs> With all this power, could they lose? Wait, Viewmaster made a console? 1940. The answer, folks, is, it the virtual is yes. Is it the Virtual Boy? No. Oh. It's even better. It is the Viewmaster Interactive Vision Television System. Oh, that's folks, a... would you like to see a picture of this? Yes. There it is. Ooh. <laughs> that looks so it looks cool. Like, it looks like... <laughs> Is what it from is Demolition Man? <laughs> 1989. $120. Oh, 
added graphics to VHS tapes. Ooh, that's cool. There were about, as far as my count, I think there were six games on it. Your choices actually mattered on this console. It would play different audio over the same video if you like <laughs> chose awesome. a different path. That's pretty cool. That's cool. It sounds like Which, that game. They were Muppet community. games, so it was easy to do to dub Muppets. Um, so I, during the research of this, I actually found their vision board for this oh console God, from yes. uh, Viewmaster Company. What? Uh, so this is the Viewmaster Vision Board. I don't know if they released this. It's is crazy. It must have been a leak or something. Um, it had a cinder block on it. <laughs> it had warehouses. A Lego brick. <laughs> just arcade buttons. A VHS tape, obviously. I mean, that was that must have been on there first. And also Good them losing board. money. It was just on there. <laughs> Good That's Vision crazy. Board. <laughs> it, the, the base console, not the, not the controller, but it looks like a block on the set of zoom remember zoom yes. for on like yeah. pbs yeah it looks like you yes. like fit back come in on and zoom yeah it was oh it's so bad okay moving on to number three the apple pippin also known as bandai at world cats media player 2000 okay not okay. that bad looking a little industrial oh it's the playstation Weird 3 controller it's a PlayStation 3 <laughs> controller. Honestly, Pippin logo, pretty cool. I like it. It looks like it's a good logo. It, it's a good logo. Pippin logo is pretty Apple pimpin Pippin logo. never came out. It was designed by Apple. It was $600. Price Sorry. by Apple. Yeah, $600. And Apple intended to make it an open standard platform for companies to buy off of them and then convert. Two suckers did that. <laughs> one of them being Bandai. <laughs> And of the course. other one being cats. Of course. <laughs> pre, pre mad cats. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pre mad cats. Um, this, this made them. They didn't be do mad. very this well. Uh, this 1996 Electronic Gaming Monthly pointed out that uh, the competing Sega Saturn and its separately sold Netlink device combined cost under $400, oh making God. it far less expensive internet option to the Pippin. Now, they were, it was pitched as like a computer to browse the internet, all that sort of stuff. Here's a gold one in a museum. Whoa. Um, and then it's Saddam just, Hussein's Pippin. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to browse the internet with this. Is that a it, scroll wheel? Or it has a trackball. I, it has a, a trackball. I understand, but it, as a primary, like they were pitching this as like, oh, you don't need a computer, you can just hook this up and. And eventually they sold a keyboard, but it was not at launch. These are some screens from it. Um, enter user ID and password. I love this page. <laughs> oh my god! World yeah. Wide Web. That's the aesthetic. Uh, I believe this is the the cat's one was black. <laughs> they just changed the color. Oh my god! Uh, and then there's this guy having a blast. So that's the keyboard peripheral, which had a screen on it, or I, actually I think it was a touchpad. So it's a Wii for like U. a pencil. But this was part of the uh, like Apple Pitch project, not what ended up coming out. This this never uh, and came then this out. This is the runner up. Oh, wait, oh, wait, real quick. The Pippin, the Pippin never came out. The Pippin never came out. The uh, the At World the, and the whatever the other the At Word At oh, World the and the because yeah and the only, At Mark and all that. Stuff. They're only like six hundred dollars on eBay. It's not bad. That's the same price it was launched for. Uh, this is my runner-up, the <laughs> console with a gun. <laughs> um, I just thought this was very funny. The Action Max. That's a fucking great name for this. It's not that the ugly. It's just, just cool. It only has a gun, and calling it the Action Max is amazing. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I should start watching Battlestar again. It's so good. It's so it's good. So good. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> folks, that is the list, and that's going to do it for this week's stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just kidding. Now we got to get ruthless. Oh. We got to get cutthroat. We got to cut this down to the top three, not number one, two, three, just the top three. So let me, uh, you pardon me one second, folks. I need to come over here and say, hello, how are you? And then, um, we're going to show that, uh, here. And then we're going to do this. I will do this. Um, I, uh, it's probably easiest for me to share my screen. How's that work for sure. you guys? Go for it. Perfect. That works for me.
Two seconds. Also, I searched Wii GIF, and the very first one was that Wii logo banging itself. <laughs> Was of, so course it was. of course that was the first option also save save data chris says yo i could throw that controller kill crocodile dundee and it would still come back <laughs> he's right and he says welcome back the to man's right he's right Star. um okay let's uh we need to bring this down to three um i have pictures that <laughs> i can show a bunch of people if we need to actually you know what i just realized a problem which is people at home can't see this give me two seconds folks one two I, f I forgot when it gets to um you didn't even say mississippi come on one two on, mississippi though. we have no time for mississippi <laughs> chris chris says Ooh, that'd something, be a good movie line something you about say mississippi we don't have time for mississippi <laughs> no we time never for do. mississippi <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you wanted to read it, you should read it. <laughs> Something about Ian's camera angle makes him look like a sweet little child. Oh, that was know. that was from Save Data Chris. Okay. Oh, um great. I believe that is There we go. So now uh if you guys want to take a look at any of the consoles, I have the pictures of all of them right here. Actually, you know, what? let's start from this. Are there any that we really that we think we should shortlist, as in, say, they're probably going to be near the top of the list, or any that you think we should cut right off the bat. Um, you can cut the Wii Mini if you want. I've, it's not. I, ugly I don't think in it's ugly. ugly. Yeah, no, 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 I, I, I think agree. I, I totally agree. I only put it on there because uh -huh. a, I was surprised it exist existed, and <laughs> b, I thought it would be some like crazy cool thing, like oh, after the Wii came out, but. It not having any of those things. I'm happy to <laughs> know about it because I had no yes. idea that it existed. Yeah, but. I'm glad that I know that it existed. And that's same with all, the Wii U. Nobody knew it existed. <laughs> <laughs> not even Reggie. Wii Mini off the list. An early sacrifice. Um, look, there, okay. Let's just let's just talk about it. I think there. I think the Telstar Arcade is hella cool. I would not call me that too. ugly. I can't, I can't, I can't call, call it ugly. It's great. If, I, if I was a kid yeah, and you told cool. me this was a console I got, I'd be like, oh my god, it plays, it has a steering wheel and a gun? Like, that's... And a throttle? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, but you can, like I said, you could think something is cool and it's still ugly. It, this like, is not ugly, though. That's what I'm saying. It's yes, not ugly. it is. I'm, I'm objectively saying it is ugly. Uh, there's, no, there's no cohesion to it. I want that in my triangle. I actually no see I I think it does have cohesion to it like like they could have just like jammed all this together but I think there actually is a lot of cool <laughs> they literally style they did, did jam, jam it together jam you triangle, jam a gun into the console in a triangle and then the cartridges are triangles and then these are triangles <laughs> and you've got the black base on all the controls and then the silver I think there's a lot of cool I also I also think I also think saying that if you were a kid you would want it doesn't count because kids have no sense of taste no I want it right I, now I think I, it's I really cool but I, I also think I, it's ugly. I would I would want it, but like I, I would go on eBay right now and buy one. I still think it's really ugly. Yeah, I agree with Kyle. So not ready to cut it. Then. No, not ready to cut it. OK, all right. Um, I think we can cut the Series X. Yes, I, think I would agree X. with that. Yeah, I look, you guys actually think it looks good because it does not. Even, even if you disagree, I think. There are three uglier consoles on this list than that Series X. I yes. think every other one on here is uglier than the Series X. Is uglier than the Series X. I, I'm not sure I would agree with that, but I would I would agree with there are three uglier ones on here. Yeah. I think the yeah. only one that is arguably less ugly might be the Pippin. And well, they okay, should also gonna... move to remove. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's 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 hop let's leapfrog from there. Let me take care of the Series X um real quick. And do paste special paste. Uh, there we go. Let's talk about the Pippin. I don't think the Pippin's ugly. I, I think it's. I think it's just like standard '90s PC designed. Yeah. Yeah. It's it extremely looks, it looks bland. Like my it's very inoffensive, honestly. I don't oh. like it. I like stuff about it, and I like the fact that it never came out. Like that's kind of yeah. funny. <laughs> I just. I think it's wild that Apple designed this and then was like. I don't think we should put this out when and then that is wild, suckered yeah. two companies into putting it out <laughs> what i mean that's like ugly business practices maybe that's what morally really offensive the, the ugliest there you go what year did it come out 
96. Yeah. So this is during like everything next. looked like this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so are we good with cutting it? Yeah, we can cut it. I'm I think so. Something. Yeah. Again, very happy to know about it though. Also, Man. I like that name, like the Pippin. Just... Bandai. I think that logo is good. Are dumb. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can I... we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Kyle. No, 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 no. You, you go, Ian. You go. I think we need to cut the Kim Kardashian one. I, I, think, yeah. I want to be clear. I want to be clear. I think Literally. it qualifies for this, but you can take any console and put an ugly drawing on it, and it becomes ugly. And I, I think that in the spirit of this <laughs> that's, list, that's, that's true. That's... But this was an officially like Xbox sold this at a charity auction. <laughs> Yes, but they it wasn't made... on store shelves. <laughs> well, it's... and that's 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 sort of the problem I have with the Domino's one is like you took something that was neutrally like yeah sure this is like a console it's a video game console and then changed it after the fact like I don't know I just yeah like like uh... it's not something ugly made uglier like I think the 360 and the PS5 are decent to good looking consoles sure yeah and they just have something ugly on top of them so so let's go one by one are we okay Will you haven't said anything. Let's hear your take on on the Kim K. I I think by that logic of taking something ugly and putting it on something, I think we could cut Kim and her pizza. I will say I like the I like the the dedication to the Domino's one because yes. they did the controller too. Like that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not good, but it's it's dedication. And the fact that it leaks grease all the time is just wild. <laughs> what a great feature that is. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, no offense, uh, David, I think these are incredibly ugly consoles. I think I would just rather reward inherently ugly rather than hey, listen, made I, ugly. I took a risk. I knew y'all would pick just ugly ass consoles, and I was like, I don't want to do that. So, I, I want a different direction. You picked ugly ass people. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's go to. Let's go back here. Let me size some pictures up and let's. Uh... Let's just take a moment. Let's see what we've got left. We have the Sega Game Girl. girl. We have the Sega Coleco. Master System Girl. Thank you Sorry. very much. Master like, System. Coleco Arcade. What is this again? I forget what this one's is called. The Viewmaster. Master Arcade? You can just call it the Viewmaster. Viewmaster. This is the uh, is this the 8000? Yeah, that's the 8000. And that's the... Uh, um, Zemix? Yeah, the Turbo. We have the Hyperscan. And we have the Wonder Boy... I mean the Wonder, Wonder Swan. Swan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm gonna talk about the Wonder, Wonder Swan World. real quick. I I'm not ready to cut it yet, but I will say it is just a nicer looking version of the Game Girl. Oh, I'm ready to cut the Wonder Swan. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, it's I mean, stupid, but not actually. Ugly. Actually, yeah, stupid design choice. <laughs> it's not okay, wait. Ugly. I I before before we cut it, I could kind of understand. It, but my problem is there are consoles in here that I don't think are ugly. I don't think the Telstar Arcade is ugly. I don't think this is ugly. I don't think this is ugly. Oh, I think the Viewmaster is horrible. Let's talk about the Viewmaster. I, I don't. I like. I'm, part of I, it is. I don't want to. I don't want to necessarily contextualize it too much at the time, but at the same time, that like '80s sci-fi aesthetic is incredible, and that is one of the greatest pieces of '80s sci-fi tech design I have ever seen. Is it's the so green the green square on that base console? A power button? I think it is. I, power I or the eject. It's, yeah, it's got to be power. No, there's no eject. It, 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 you you have to VHS. use it with a VHS. I, oh, with the... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like it. Yeah. Like, I like really like the way it looks. It's an incredible piece of design. I don't but think, I still it's, think ugly. it's ugly. I don't I... think it's ugly. What about you, David? I, I think it's ugly, but not horribly ugly like i place it in the same category as the telstar arcade and the what was the daewoo one oh, the uh, like the daewoo cpg zemix turbo whatever yeah. they're all kind of the same thing for me they're i just the like era. the other i just like the other two better than the the viewmaster one i i just like like if i was watching i keep thinking about demolition man if i was watching demolition man and this was a prop in the movie I would want that prop. I would want to copy that prop. It's such a cool looking thing. I think it is ugly though. Like I, it's it, yeah, it's the same thing for the Telstar where it's like, I want it, but yeah. I don't want to like, I don't want it because I like the way it looks. I want it because it's like, this is really interesting. 
it's a different design. It stands out, but not in like a good way. <laughs> so let me let me shift the conversation a little bit. I think Game Girl is in the top three. What do you guys think? I don't think so. Honestly, I think that if 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 it was a different color, it would be fine. It's just the pink that makes it. No, ugly. there's a black one. It's equally ugly. And I think there I think the other thing is <laughs> this is a console that is supposed to be portable with no screen. Like there's a giant space for a screen in the middle of it. Also, also I, I want to also take this point. The rest of these consoles are, for the most part, one off. This is like a thing a company did. I think the other best selling console other than the Master System one is probably the Wonder Swan. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, whereas this is a master system. Like, this is a Sega Core console that looks <laughs> like this. This isn't some one-off. This isn't a Mattel cash grab for $70 to get, like, money for parents buying crappy games for their kids. It's not Viewmaster trying to cash in on the Muppets. It's not Telstar being like, our console has a gun. Like, yeah. it's just a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like shit. What what do you think? What do you think, Will? I haven't I don't think I've heard your thoughts on this one yet. Uh I, I think it's in the top three. I think it's it's wild that I mean it's wild that it's that big with seemingly four buttons on it. Um <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I just it, I don't know. It's, it's and and just... the whole the whole way you laid it out how this was them being like, yeah, let's get girl gamers by releasing like a gimped handheld that is super simplified is like this is this is ugly and offensive and offensively ugly. It's just all rolled into one. Uh, Kyle, I know, I know you, I know you disagree. So I, so. I, I mean, it, I'm outvoted. It's it's fine. I don't think it belongs in the top three because I don't think it's that crazy i i like inherently just like with the lines and the way everything flows i don't think it's that ugly but sure okay let's let's go ahead and, and lock it or at least for now uh we're going to basically going to ear mac ear market we're going to uh, oh. um it looks, like a, it looks like a portable radio I can That's give you done. the boy version. It looks, like it looks the same. Radio. It's just black. We haven't talked about the hyperscan yet. I don't know what you guys' thoughts on it are. I, I pitched mine, so tell me what you think. Let me let me zoom um, out a bit for you. It's like it, it again. It sort of falls into the thing where it's like the design choice is interesting. It's it's not good to look at, but it's also like I mean we talked about cohesiveness. Like it it's designed to look one way all the way through. And it's not like offensive. It's just like, OK, this is a weird choice. And and I feel like in, as this was like 2006, 2007, 2007, era, right? Yeah, yeah. This, there was like so much of this back then. Um, I don't know. I mean, it. I kind of like I, I don't want it, but I also kind of do want it. I don't know. I think I think I for get, me, just I to get say it, leapfrog vibes from it where I'm like, this isn't even a console. Yeah. I, what, yeah. What games I, does it play? Or like, it, what does it, it had play? six games. One of them was Spider Man. This was Mattel trying to make a a low budget like teen to adult console. Like this was them genuinely trying to make to get back into the market like they had previously with with other Mattel consoles. Okay. Um. So it's 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 not a leapfrog type thing. Man, are we sure as they much were as genuinely trying. Out. <laughs> I know like because like, I don't think they were <laughs> I um just to kind of go back on what you were talking about Kyle like like this this is the design of the era I, I think there's two things that I would say with that number one is this is of the design of the era like of the style but it's a bad version of it and I think the other thing is in my opinion a majority of that era is like very dated almost immediately like that era is only 14 mm -hmm. years old whereas when I look at something like the Telstar Arcade of the 70s or this 80s design or this 80s sci-fi design like i me personally i consider those design styles like timeless like even though they are of that era they still look really cool and interesting as of today whereas this is a god-awful era that is ugly just 14 15 years later and it's a bad example i guess of that my era. my problem with the hyper scan is like i don't consider that a thing of the era like the era at that point it was playstation xbox nintendo Sega yeah, had pretty much yeah. died out. Like that was the era. This is like a 
cash grabby. Looks thing. like it yeah, came it out in '98. Yeah, yeah, it, it does look like it came out in '98. Other than it's vaguely disc shaped, so <laughs> if it wasn't a Sony thing, it probably didn't come out in '98. Yeah. But. So let's. The, I think the only one we haven't talked about yet. Well, there's two we haven't talked about. Let's talk about the Zenix. Um, I. God. I don't think this is very the, good looking, but I also don't think it's awful. I think it's just kind of a. a the more I look at these, I'm I'm flipping on the Viewmaster one. I actually kind of think that one looks all right compared to the the Zenix. The Zenix is my least yeah. favorite out of the the three that Just, I had mentioned. Before. Like this design, they went for it, and it's so cohesive throughout. Whereas something like this is kind of. Yeah, it just looks like I, really I feel did. like with the with the turbo, like they did they did go for it, but it's inherently ugly. <laughs> like it just does not look good. It does look like, like the looks... command portion of a Star I was, Destroyer. I was going to say, it looks kind of like a Roomba. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a thing glued on top Roomba, of it. Roomba Turbo. What's that robot movie the, uh, with, like, the robots, the star of the movie? It's got, like, uh, Wally, Lost in Space. Yellow. I, Robot. Lost in Space. Uh, he's got a, it's like Flubber or something. The movie Robot. Bicentennial Man. <laughs> Bicentennial. No. Uh, it robot. doesn't matter. It Anyways. looks like that, though um robocop any other thoughts on that before we talk about the uh this is is this the coleco i uh we yeah i'm sorry that's that's the um uh bandai 8000 or whatever the supervision 8 supervision 8000 supervision 8000 um uh i'm gonna be honest i hate that aesthetic and i think that's uglier than the intellivision i hate that but in top three is how i feel (laughs) <laughs> I I think it's just so bland and just like it looks like a like a business like a yeah a corporate office business thing was like let's just make it as simple as possible. What do you want the controllers to be? I'm like oh, I have this idea for like a keypad controller, and they're like, we don't care how it plays or how it works. Let's so put a calculator just, on our controller. This yeah, is a good it just, idea. It, it just it's so like uninspired. I think is what at least with all yeah. the other ones. I think you could say like there was a vision. This one is ugly because it, it, there's no there's nothing behind it. Like it's just I, it's just a block. Yeah, I I agree cuz for me I'm kind of conflicted cuz I look at these controllers and I go it, it's not a good gameplay design but I go oh that's that's kind of a weird cool design with the coil. But then I look at everything else on the console other than the controllers and it just becomes like very oh, bland controller more than anything else. Fax machine. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it looks like, like an answering machine. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> like uninspired was very a very good way of putting it. Yeah. No, and Kyle's thing of like it looks like a landline because it does. It, like, yeah, it looks like a a two telephone landline. If I were a child of the time, I would pick those up and try to call someone. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thousand percent. Not I think, use I think, it as a controller. I think if, if every... we want to move this. Oh, it. sorry, Kyle. No, no, no uh, go I go just want to say if we want to move this forward a little bit, I'm just gonna say my top three is well, the pink game Saturn. Yeah, yeah, we already that that's gone. So from this, we need to collectively pick two. Basically, is where we're at. I was gonna say the Cowboy Rudy Tootie Driving, and the one we just talked about. This one, the Bandai. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of. Those are my three. I'm kind of with I just, you, Will. Although I would put, I'm a toss up between whether the Telstar Arcade or the Zemix Turbo make it. Probably. Honestly, it could be either one. They're both <laughs> ugly, and Kyle has worn me down. I have flipped to the they're ugly, but I still want them camp. Yeah, like I think it's it's like it's it's literally someone had an idea of what if we had a console that you could play th- three sides of three different games at the same time? Like you could just have it all in one and they literally just shoved everything into it. I love it. For holes, everything. And then <laughs> around that they built. Oh, OK, well, we already have this in here. It's kind of a triangle. Let's just make that the aesthetic. And then they made it brown. Like <laughs> that's, it's that's, brown. that's the era, though. That's the oh era. Like, I feel like ninety nine percent of video game consoles from this era were brown. Yeah, the the brown with wood grain thing. That's just yeah, but but it's that's however so ugly. I'm with you on literally everything else about it. Yeah. So <laughs> I like I again like I want it. I think we all we, can we all collectively say we want. Yes, wait, 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 Let's keep going with the top three, as in your three picks. So what are your? I'm sorry. What are your two ugly picks, Kyle, out of this remaining batch? Um, it would be the, the Telstar, definitely. And then it's got to be the, the 8000. I just think, I this think one? it's like, 
Yeah, it's like creatively ugly. Or, I'm sorry, the not the turbo. The, the phone the, the block, the phone. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah. The the Telstar is like creatively ugly, and then the eight thousand is like uncreatively ugly. <laughs> it just I don't know. It it just it's like two sides of the of the uh, same coin. Yeah, and I I think for me, uh, I would I would go with the eight thousand as well. Sure. I think that's all four of us. So toss that in there. You want, you want to lock that one? Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and lock that. Uh, that is the Supervision eight thousand. Um, so we have to pick one out of the remaining. My other pick is is the hyperscan. Um, can we can we just get rid of the the, the one? I think the Wonder Swan yeah. goes, and I think yeah. the Viewmaster goes. Any objections to that? I Honestly, I think this is the <laughs> best looking console out of all the nominees. It's so good looking. I think it's hideous, but I still want it. But it's not as ugly the as the remaining. remaining still ugly. It's not as ugly as what, what else we have. It's just like, let's explain. shove this weird brick into a SNES cartridge the, and put humps on it. I honestly think the, the, main, that. the main part of the console isn't horribly ugly. The controller is a disaster. I, I think the controller is I, is like 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 holding ergonomically a disaster, but when I don't no, think about it like that, it's a disaster on every front. It looks Look so thing. cool. It's got fake heat sinks on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I I so think good. it. Yeah, I I would agree. It it's ugly, but out of the four, I think it's the least ugly. Yeah, yeah. but I still want it. We're gonna take it off the list. But I just want to make it clear. I do not think this is ugly at all. This is incredibly good looking. But anyways, it's gone. Uh, so we need to they pick one. They colors. The, we need the, to pick like teal with gray. Yeah. That was good. That was good so we work. need to pick one out of these. I, I know most people are leaning towards the Telstar. So let me make an impassioned defense of the Telstar real quick. Okay. Because honestly, like I, I understand you guys look at this and you think, oh, this is crazy. But for me... I'm thinking about all the other consoles of the era, right? Are just, they're either doing the paddles or they're doing the numpad design. And they said, no, we're going to give them a steering wheel and we're going to give them a gun and we're going to give them the normal paddles. And they somehow brought that all together into something that is cohesive. It's a triangle. The cartridges are triangles. It's got three sides to it. It's got three different ways to play. <laughs> Like this thing just it I'm sorry, I don't you mean think like it's a triangle, it has three sides. <laughs> just fucking like they me, fully man. thought this through and they made something that is very, very unique. And I think you guys may be confusing <laughs> unique slash baffling with ugly. And this is not ugly. I this is so cool. I in in defense of its ugliness, I think the the base if you take away the steering wheel, the throttle, and the gun. Um, and I guess the dials too. The base console is fine. Like mm -hmm. it's it's got a nice sort of um, obviously triangular design, but it's it's designed well. It's low. It's flat. It'll fit in your your television media console or whatever very nicely. But then you add a steering wheel and a gun, and, and all of a fair. sudden, <laughs> where are you gonna put it? Um, I, I just don't. Will Will David, what are your what are your thoughts on the Telstar? Um, I think it's rad as all hell. I, yeah, I but I do. still think it's the ugliest console on this page right now. It's rad and ugly, uh, ugly. And like, listen, I brown's like my favorite or second favorite color, so like, I'm I'm oh. here for that. All right, <laughs> <laughs> the brown's fine, the, but the gun and the steering wheel and the throttle sticking out is looks like if hershey made it's a video off game. pudding <laughs> and yeah like where do you put that like you ian earlier you were complaining about like having this boring xbox that's nothing sitting in your entertainment system guess what just won't go in the entertainment system <laughs> i'm fine with it the this goes, Star Arcade. this goes on the shag carpet in the center of my conversation <laughs> pit and I'm I'm wrapping my sweet bell bottom clad legs around this baby, and I'm driving a freaking video game car, baby. 
You just widen your widen your legs a little bit and flip it. It's so and go to the next game. Good. My my strongest opinion about these three is that the hyperscan does not make the cut. That's my strongest opinion yeah. about these three. It's, okay, well, it's the it's the triangle or the Cylon make the make Cylon. Cylon. Well, let's let's just. I know we're getting late here, so let's just let's go around the horn of these three. What is your pick for ugliest, Kyle? Telstar. Uh, Crosby. Telstar. David. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> I'll go first. Xenix. Xenix. I, and I was going to go Hyper. Whatever was, it is. I would say Hyperscan. So I, I think that means it goes to the Telstar. Um, did we, well, did we have a talk about the Hyperscan? Or I'm sorry, the, the Turbo? Yeah. The Xenix? Yeah, we talked about okay, how we, it looks like a spaceship. Did. Yeah. I wasn't sure if we, if we want if the we had any final Turbo words. Looks like everything oh. except for a console. It looks like a Roomba. It looks like the bottom of a vacuum cleaner. It looks like yeah. the underside of the Enterprise. I would it looks like I would a CD player. I didn't you know would... it had support. I didn't know it had support. Okay, wait. Okay, wait a minute. Let me do this. Let me do this. Hyperscan's gone. Between okay. these two, don't think about support. Let's go around the horn. We'll go in reverse order. I, I would. I would pick the Turbo is uglier than the Telstar. David, what about you? Mine, mine is still with the Zemix. Uh, Will? Yeah, I'll go with the robot. I'm still with the Telstar, but I don't care because they're both mine. <laughs> <laughs> so are we okay with then picking the Zemix as the third ugliest? Yeah. I'm, I mean, three I'm of good. us said yes. Yeah, I'm so. good. All right. So let's put that here. And folks, there we go. That's the list. Uh... We have Master presents the ugliest console. <laughs> the three ugliest consoles slash handhelds of all time. The Sega Master System Game Girl, which looks like this. <laughs> Football. Football. The Sega Master System Game Girl. The Zemix Turbo. And the uh Oh, I can't. I can't even remember what we picked. What's the other one? Oh, this the eight thousand eight thousand or supervision hypervision Any, piece of I, junk. I want to just 000. say I, I should David worst, misled worst us because yet. this black version of this console with the American flag behind it is incredible. Which one? He just said, it looks uh, so stupid. What are you? T you know what's? You know what's better about that? Great. You know what's even better about that? Will I? That's I the don't. Brazil box. <laughs> with the American flag behind us. <laughs> that does not look better. It it only looks a little bit better because it's not pink anymore, but still like <laughs> But it's got that like that speckled uh like plastic. It's so it's whatever. So simple. That's like, the printing, just, just that's simple. not the plastic. I don't know. <laughs> so good. Man, that's anyways, uh there it is, it's folks. Like super compact. The three ugliest It's compact, but you still need a TV. <laughs> Yeah, but it fits. It fits like an Xbox Series X. Oh it fits. It just slides in there. <laughs> there they are. The Sega Master System Game Girl, the SuperVision 8000, and the Zemix Turbo. The three ugliest consoles or handhelds of all time. Let's go around the horn real quick. Uh, how do you guys feel about how that shook out? Let's go with Kyle first. I mean, I'm happy because I got two of my three. Um, I, I do think that the the one that I didn't get, the, the, the Telstar, in my heart was still the ugliest, but... I'm very happy with my my choices and with the end result. Uh, Will, how how are you feeling? Uh, I still think the Viewmaster is the ugliest. You're all wrong. It may look cool, may look industrial, but it is still disgusting. <laughs> it may oh, look okay. cool, but it's ugly. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, Will. Uh, right. David, closing thoughts. Let's check black. Uh, man, those buttons on that S S uh, Sega Master System Compact Girl Edition. Really look like birth control, don't they? Like, <laughs> yeah, they, they really, really do. Oh my goodness! I, I for me, my biggest regret is not having a bigger discussion about the Series X because, like I said, it pains me. But we need to realize that console is ugly. Uh, thank you guys so it's much not for even joining. Close, Ian. It's, it's, close. Yeah. You're wild. It's just, it's just nothing. It's just a blank, empty ugliness. It's not even the ugliest Xbox. True statement. I mean, pretty What's much uglier? all the all the Xbox and PlayStation for the past like 15 years have just been black empty boxes. That's true. It's true. <laughs> so, folks, 
Thank you so much for joining us for yet another episode of The Best. Uh, we will have this show returning at some point in the future. We have plenty of more topics to debate and decide on. You can find us at Subpixel Team on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, you can find Kyle at Kyle of the Beard, Will at Hunt270, me at Think Gibson, and David at Mizuki13, as well as Save Data Team. Check out some of their content. It's great stuff. You can check out more of our content at subpixelfilms.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and chatting along in the chat and agreeing with everything I say in silence. Next time, we're going to have all of you on the stream, and we're going to build the correct list of the ugliest consoles. Thank you no, guys so much. did you see my first slide? It was correct opinions by me. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me. I'm gonna have Gary right. Sinise call in next time. And he'll tell me. <laughs> he, I feel I want to hear Gary Sinise talk about how ugly the Series X is. I don't, I don't know. I just look at it and it... <laughs> that's your Gary Sinise. It's uh, it's the first time I've ever he, done one. He's got like he a, a cameo. Does he have a cameo? Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a really good idea. I think he does. I think he does. Oh, oh that, no, that just gave me I a just... terrible idea. I just lost oh, one of you between else. 40 and $120. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Not if we pull our money. We can do this. Uh, Folks, we got to get out of here before we start spending money on Gary Sinise cameos. Thank you so much. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.